everybody. Chris Maloney from Shape Up Boot Camps and Fitness. Welcome. Total Body Shred. What you need today, get your jams on. You'll need some music and dumbbells. We'll also want to get some, um, if you've got some risers, a step. Hold on, I'll show you what I'm talking about. If you got steps such as these, that'll be handy dandy. If not, no big deal. Also, like I said, a jump rope, and I think that should do it. All right, if you got a med ball, great. If not, no big deal. Let's just start out by warming up, high knees. Make sure you got your tunes on. Start to dry those knees up. Lean forward, butt kickers. Heel to your butt. Give me jacks. Stretch the heel to your butt. All right, give me some cradle stretches. Bring it up to the ankle. Mommy kicks like like straight up. Nice job. Arm circle small, bigger, biggest. Palms up on the direction. All right. Make sure you've got some light weights too. So I've got a range of weights, light to heavy, lighter weights for some lateral type raises, heavy weights for some rows. We're going to go with 30 second on, 10 second off um, supersets, all right? We're going to have four moves with a, and then a cardio move. 30 on, 10 off for the four moves, two times around, then we go with the cardio move. the cardio room. Our first superset is going to be push-ups, all right? So we got some chest flies, chest presses, side-to-side -side push-ups on the steps, okay? And then if you've got a step, we're going to do some power-ups. If you don't have a step, reverse lunge to power up. And then we'll add some cardio to that. Cardio will do some downhill skiers um, just to get the heart rate up. All right, so again, on your step or on your mat, chest fly, chest press, and then push-ups. If you don't have a step to do side-to-side push-ups such as this, okay, 
Then you can do Spider-Man push-ups that look like this. I actually like Spider-Man push-ups. Opposite elbow, opposite knee, I mean, same side elbow, same side knee, short, and then you switch, go along on the other side. All right, all right, here we go. On the ground, guys, chest flies at first. Let's go. Hold on, let me just get the, good. Something keeps making this super bright. All right, here we go. Okay, so on the ground, guys, I want some chest flies. 30 on, 10 off. All right, ready? We're up in 10. Chest flies on the ground. If you don't have a step, you're just going to be on the ground. up my butt, squeezing my glutes. That's always an option when we're in this plank position, I mean a uh, supine position. right? this for some more chest flies. All right, back on the ground, chest flies again. Here we go. Big hug, guys, big hug. On the ground, chest flies. Go. You got it. Good job. Make sure you got a big hug on that Elbows touch the ground, palms facing each other, right? And it's like you're hugging a big tree. Big hug, right there, big hug. Keep it going. Four, three. All right, now chest press, okay? 
Just push it up right there. Chest press. Chest press. Go. Chest press. Nice. Here, 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 here. Keep it going, guys. That's it. Squeeze the shoulder blades at the bottom. Push up at the top as you contract those pecs. Keep it going. Four. All right, let's see those push-ups. Side to side on the step or Spider-Man push-ups. I'll show you how to stop Spider-Man push-ups. Go again. Right here. Elbow to knee. And then switch. Elbow to knee on the other side. Other side is long. So this is what you do if you don't have a step. Both moves are good. Good job, keep it going. Four, three, two, two, one. All right, grab some moderate to light weight. We've got downhill skier. Squeeze the shoulder blades, pop the hips, right here. It's like a kettlebell swing.
10 to 15 degrees past your back as you row. Try to keep your hips square. One arm row right here. If you've got a step, go ahead and use it. Put your hand there. All right, ready? Go. Squeeze the shoulder blades as you bring that elbow up. Again, arm coming up 10 to 15 degrees past that back. Keep everything square forward. I like the pen leg row. I let the weight touch at the ground. That way I remove all momentum. Switching sides. You got it. Knee hovering right above that ankle. Whether I have a step or not. Ready? Go. Squeeze that shoulder blade. Nice job, keep it going. Beautiful. Keep that head in line with the spine. All right, grab some lighter weights. We're gonna go with that reverse fly move. That looks like this. Flat back. just to give my lower back a little break. Down, up, flat back, come up. You got it. Squeeze that whole back side as I come up. All right, round two. Do it again, renegade rows. Here we go. Ready? Nice plank. Again, keep your hips square to the ground as much as possible. Elbow comes up 10 to 15 degrees past that back. Don't let your hips drop. You got a nice tight plank here. Chest is tall, always looking up. 
We're using this as an opportunity to get our heart rate up. Come on. At the same time, obviously, we're working the legs. Squeeze the butt every time you come up. Keep it going. We go, remember, 70 seconds. Two 30 second splits with a 10 second split in between. But we don't break, keep it going. You do get a break after this though. Come on, keep your chest tall, looking ahead. Push the butt back. Push the butt back. No knee drops. Porta potty squat. Nice job, keep it going. Nice, now take a break. Let's go to some arms. So, we're gonna keep this one simple, all right? We got curls, we got kickbacks, we got presses, all right? And then we'll add some uh, cardio to that. Two rounds on this, okay? So first, with our curls, hold here. Static curls is what they are. One arm holds tight, okay? We'll go halfway, then we'll do kickbacks. Then we'll go ahead and add some overhead triceps, and then we'll add some presses. All right, grab your curling weight. One side static, let's curl right here. Keep that elbow a little bit forward. Don't let your elbow go back here. Keep it right here. Keep it going on this side, just a static hold at a right angle. You got it. Now switch, other side. Beautiful. Nice. All right, I'm going to go to a lighter weight because I want to do kickbacks. Get that arm all the way parallel to the ground. Right angle, parallel to the ground. Okay. Right here, squeeze, return. Squeeze, return. Shoulders away from your ears, flat back. You got this, come on. All right, overhead triceps. This is triceps, two ways. Elbows to the sky, straight up, right there. To a right angle, and then straight up. Elbows at a right angle, straight up. Lower slowly. You got it. Don't let your elbows flare out. Three, two, one. Nice. Woo! All right. Hold your weights like this. Elbows as high as your shoulders. And then we'll switch sides. Pressing. But notice how I keep my elbows as high as my shoulders on the return. And I'm corkscrewing as I bring that weight up, meaning I'm twisting my wrist. When I begin, my palms are facing each other. When I go up, my palms are facing you. Keep it going. I know it's a burden. You're all right. One arm hold here, right angle, and we're curling. Now I like to twist the weight at the top a little bit, just like this, so. Get the medial head of my biceps. Now let's switch. Beautiful. All right. 
Triceps. Here we go. Kickbacks. Are you ready? Flat back. Go. Nice. Keep it going. You want your arm parallel to the ground at the top of that movement. Right there. Overhead triceps. Press my fingers a little bit. Don't let your grip be your, be your weak link. Ready? Go. Remember, elbows to the center to a right angle and squeeze it all the way up top. Lower slowly and up. Lower slowly and up. Nice job, guys. Don't let those elbows flare out. Shoulder work, remember. Palms facing me and then up, up. Corkscrew up, alternating sides. Let's go. Strong core because we're bringing that weight over our head. This is a great way to functionally work your core. Keep it going. Almost there. Keep those elbows as high as your shoulders on the, in that down position. It's burning, I know. Woo! All right, cardio. Grab your jump rope. Team, if you don't have a jump rope, you're right here. Mock jump roping, high knees. I'm all right with that. Let's go. I'll mock with you, right here. If you don't have a jump rope, this is where you are. If you got a jump rope, grab your jump rope. So your choice, whichever one you want. Keep it going. Remember, 70 seconds, two 30 second splits with 10 seconds in between, no break. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on now. We got this. Come on, you gotta break afterwards. Bring those knees up. Four, three, two, two, one. Let's drop down for some floor work. Bicycle crunches, mountain climbers, lying leg thrust, and diamond crunch. I'm gonna put all this away, get my mat. Get ready, we got bicycle crunches at first. Hands placed gently behind my ears. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ball size face between chin and chest. Good job, keep it going. Ball side space between chin and chest here. Look to the ceiling. Belly button drawn to the spine. Lower back to the ground. The lower your heels are to the ground, the harder it is. But you want to keep your lower back to the ground. All right. Down on the ground. Slow mountain climbers. Hands placed right underneath your shoulders. Bring those knees towards your chest, but we're going to do it slow. Okay? So... We're gonna tap that toe every time we bring that knee up. Keep your, L, your uh, head in line with your spine. 
We're engaging the core here. Also working our total body as we support it in this plank position. the ground, leg lifts, heels to the heavens, hands placed underneath my glutes to rotate my pelvis so my lower back to the ground, heels right above the ground, heels right above my hips, and thrust up, lower slowly. Good job. Lower slowly, belly button to the spine, lower back to the ground. All right, bring the soles of your feet together like this. Hands up here, come up, slap the ground at the, at the bottom. Back of the hands hit the ground at the top, come up, slap. By crossing and putting our legs, lower body in this position, we're taking the hip flexors out of the equation. Good job, keep it going. Nice, all right, repeat. Bicycle crunches, remember, hands placed gently behind your ears, lower back to the ground. Ready? Always looking to the ceiling again, ball side space between chin and chest. Almost there. Okay, slow mountain climbers. Hands placed right underneath those shoulders. Nice tight planks, squeeze the shoulder blades, glutes and quads. Bring that chest, knee towards your chest, slowly. Tapping the toe at the top and the bottom. Then head along your spine. Nice job. Heels to the heavens or lying leg thrust. All right, hands underneath your glutes. Ready. Go. Soles of your feet together. Diamond crunch. Hand slap at the top, hand slap at the bottom. Ready? Go. Lower slowly. Those abs should be on fire right now. Good. Ten more seconds. on the ground. Nice. All right, pop up. Let's do some chops. All right, standing chops all the way down this forward foot, bringing our arm across from here to here, diagonally. Let's go. Add a weight if you want. Stay low though. We'll switch at the halfway point at that 10 second mark. Keep it going. Four, three, two, one. Let's switch sides. I'll give you a 
10 second break there. Here we go. Remember, all the weights on this forward foot, stay low. Going across my body. Go. Keep it going, come on. That forward glute should be on fire. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Itchy nose, sorry. All right. Take a quick break. We're going to finish off with a finisher. What we're going to do is just going to take all those cardio movements that we did and put them together, Tabata style. So, what did we have? Um, we had downhill skier, squat jumps, jump rope, and chops, okay? 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, two times around, we're done. All right, here we go. Go all out here, guys. Come on, Tabata. Let's go, Tabata. Sorry, gotta go all the way down. We're almost there. Ha! Here we go. Come on, a little bit more. Tabatas. All right, you guys ready? Okay, so the first move. Grab your light weights. It's gonna be downhill skiers, okay? Have those weights handy. 20 seconds off, 10 seconds off. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Ready? Go. So I've got those moderate weights right here. Come on, bring it off, bring it. Add a little jump if you want. Squeeze the shoulder blades at the bottom. Come on. Nice, all right. Jump squats, ready. In and out squats, narrow, wide. Go really hard, as fast as you can, chest is tall, ready, go. You should need that 10 second break. Woo. Jump roping. Don't have a jump rope, mock jump rope. Here we go. High knees. Ready. Work it, come on. Go hard. Good job, good job. Ah, come on, you got it. Three, two, one, chops, here we go. Hey, if you got some room out there, you don't wanna do chops, go give me a run. Whatever you want, ready, just get the heart rate up. Ready, three, two, let's go. Work it, work it hard. Switch sides. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, round two, downhill skier. Here we go. Come on, we're almost there. Ready, four, three, two, one. Squeeze the shoulder blades at the bottom. There you go, nice job. Push your butt back. Uh, uh. All right, squat jumps, here we go. In and out. Bring it, bring it, bring it. As many as you can, as fast as you can. Good form though. Three, two, one, go. Push your butt back, come on. Squeeze the glutes as you come up.
got this. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, this is where you either go for a run or you give me chops. I don't care which one. Let's get that heart rate up. Last 20 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Switch sides. Beautiful. Four, three, two. Nice job. Ah, really nice job. Let's get that heart rate down slowly. Let me turn this timer off. Really nice job, guys. Let's get a quick stretch in right here. So let's take a few deep breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Again. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go forward, elbow to forward knee. So get in that lunge position. Okay, right here. Toes tracking forward, bring this forward elbow, tuck it inside that forward instead as low as you can go. Make sure this knee's tracking right above that ankle though. Oh, nice hamstring stretch right there. Switch sides. Good job. All right, let's go ahead and go with a, uh, well, actually, while we're down here, let's get a glute stretch. Sorry, we weren't down there anymore. <laughs> All right, figure four, bring this leg right underneath. This hip, this heel is underneath the opposite hip flexor and get down low. Nice glute stretch. It's almost like a child's pose, but you got that figure four in front of you. Switch sides. <sighs> Sweet, nice job. All right, let's bring that into a downward dog. Chin towards chest, chest towards toes, drive the heels to the ground. Bring that left foot around that right ankle. Drive that right ankle to the ground. But now what I want you to do is lift up that right heel just slightly. Feel that soleus stretch. And let's switch sides. Right foot around left ankle. And again, lift up that leg, left heel a little bit. Soleus stretch. All right, feet go back center, using the line of steps. Don't bend your knees, don't move your hands, but walk your feet to your hands. Right now, stretch, hang down there right there. Try to get your hands as close to the ground as you can. That feels so good. Obviously, you're not bending your knees. All right, slowly come up one vertebrae at a time as you inhale and exhale. One more deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Let's get a quad stretch, shall we? All right, get that heel to your butt. Squeeze, squeeze that glute, push that hip flexor out. Nice job, shake that out, go to the other side. Nice job again. Hands forward around the upper back, hollow out those abs. Really. Separate those shoulder blades. Hands behind, lift up your chin and chest. Nice pec stretch. Deltoid stretch, bring that arm across. Push right below that elbow joint, but keep the shoulder back. Don't let that shoulder collapse. We're looking to stretch that deltoid area. Switch. Nice job, triceps, elbows to the sky, 
And as you know, I like to stretch my triceps using a towel, okay? You can do it with a towel or without. If you don't have a towel, you're merely just pushing down on the uh, elbow with your hand. Otherwise, you're pulling and getting the tricep in that fashion. Similar movement, just with the towel, I can get a little bit better range of motion or better stretch right there. And nice job. One more deep breath, guys. Inhale and exhale. You guys are awesome. Good job. Stretch some more, certainly. This static stretching is really not sufficient to uh, get um, enough stretching done as much as we should do. And um, hey, re uh, rehydrate and replenish your energy stores, okay? This is Chris Maloney from Shape, Ups Boot Camp, Shape Up Boot Camps and Fitness. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you at the next workout.